Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So I did get my GTX 70 card and I'm gonna be putting it into my computer. Um, I kind of ran into a small little issue because <clears throat> I wasn't too sure how to mount this, this uh, GPU riser. I don't have much equipment or anything like that and I came up with like this sort of setup with these where I screw that board into these uh, aluminum rails or whatever these things are but uh, basically it would have to sit outside of the computer and I don't think I have a good enough setup to do that properly so I think I could put a second card into my computer. I have this one already in here, so that's a PCI Express 2.0, but I do have another PCI Express here, but it's not a 2.0, so I'm not too sure if the card is going to be able to run its full potential, but I was looking at this thing, and it says it's also not PCI Express 2.0, it's just a 1X. So I don't know if it matters. So I'm gonna try to just put that card in the computer and see what I can get the hash rate to. So uh, currently that one card is doing, overclocked, it's doing 31 mega hashes. Uh, so when I stick that second one in, uh, I should be getting 62. Now, the other thing is my power supply is only 850 watts, but I think these cards are a lot more efficient than the old ones. So this card and the other card should 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 run in this in this computer if not i'm gonna have to upgrade and get a bigger power supply so uh yeah let's get the card in and crossing my fingers here there we go all right they're sitting so close there's barely a gap like there's tiny uh but i mean these things run pretty efficiently uh so yeah, let's get it plugged in. I'm crossing my fingers, like I said. I hope this power supply is enough. All right, here we go. Power button. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to turn the power supply on. Here we go. Oh, oh, some kind of noise. I think it's working. This fan's broken. Wake up. I gotta get a new one. Nothing on the screen though. The other video card for the monitor. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so about ready to go. I'm gonna hit enter here and it's gonna start mining. Hopefully it sees the two GPUs. Um, MSI Afterburner in fact sees all both GPUs and I did tweak the cards to do some overclocking. I'll show you those settings. I just wanna double check and see if this is actually gonna work first. Okay, um, total cards two. GTX 1070, so we should see 62 mega hashes total. Uh, it's actually gonna read uh, individual cards. Yeah, so it's this should be 31 and this should be 31. Once it goes through, I really hope so, I really hope so. Uh, already found a share, damn, that was quick. See what we got. Um, Okay, 31 and 31. Actually, one's doing a little better. Awesome. Okay, so um, just real quick, I want to see what the temperatures are. So fan is 64%, 64%, 42, 43. Those are good temperatures. Now, I just need to double check if these settings are correct. I have to do some more reading about power limits and uh, temp limits and uh, all this other stuff. But uh, basically, what I set it to was 100 for the core clock and memory clock 720. Fan speed I brought up to uh, 64. Yeah, so yeah, we're looking at a really good hash rate actually. Yeah, total speed 63. So now this is the pool that I use. It's called uh, ethermine.org and I'm gonna let this sort of run for a little bit. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and then uh, we'll get the going hash rate. This is all gonna update and then it's gonna give me an idea of how much I'm gonna make per day uh, but yeah, let's wait on that and then I'll show you what we got. All right, so it's been mining for about two hours and 50 minutes and I realized that this needs to run for a longer time to get accurate numbers, but 
you can see like what I was doing with one card. This was the average and the max. And as soon as I installed both cards, this shot up a crazy amount. So now we're looking at a total of 63.8 mega hashes. And this is gonna go up and down, but this is what it's currently receiving. Uh, depending on how many shares I get so depending on how lucky my computer is at finding shares Like it just did right there in the green share found uh, This number is going to go up and that's good for me meaning more money So the beauty of all this is that you know you build a rig and you have a few GPUs in your computer You don't only have to mine ethereum you could mine uh, plenty of other coins. You just need to go to this one website, which I'm gonna have linked down below. You plug in what cards you have, and it's gonna tell you at the current time, which coin is the most profitable to mine at that given time. So you can sort of, uh, you know, gauge which one you wanna mine any given day. So let's just look at this website, plug in what cards I have, and it's gonna tell me which one is more profitable. And just real quick before I show you, Ethereum is pretty low on the list, but um, I don't really care too much that it's not profitable right now, but I have um, some belief, I guess you could say, that it's gonna continue to rise. The price is gonna continue to rise. So with time, it's whatever I earn in Ethereum is just gonna be worth a lot more. I hope so. I mean, this is all just, you know, risky stuff. So let me show you the calculator, how it works, and then uh, you could go in and plug in some numbers and you could play around with it and see how much you could be earning. All right, so this is the website. It's called what to mine and up top here, you could plug in which, which cards you have. So uh, I have two 1070 cards. They are overclocked though. So I'm getting more than uh, 60 mega hashes. I'm getting 63 point something. So whatever it's gonna show here is actually lower than what I'm gonna be actually getting. So let's just go through the list here. So right now it's saying, I've never heard of this coin before. I can't even pronounce it, but basically you would be earning $5.25 per day. And this number above is $6. But uh, you want to look at this number because this is calculating the power consumption of your cards. So the second one is Trezor Coin, coin <laughs> Trezor Coin, uh, Vivo. Never heard of these. I mean, I'm still kind of new to all this. Uh, I've heard of this Vert Coin. I've heard of Zen Cash, uh, Bitcoin Gold. Still not sure if this is like a legit coin, but. Um, basically you're earning $4.37. Uh, Ethereum is still down below, so let's keep going. Here it is. Um, yeah, so $3.69 a day. But like I said, uh, this value doesn't matter too much. It does matter, you need to pay attention to it. But basically, in one day, I'm gonna be earning .0004 Ethereum uh, in 24 hours. Is that right? I don't think that's right, wait. No, that's BTC, so that's Bitcoin. So, um, my bad. So, actually, in 24 hours, you are earning $3.69, but you're getting .0096 Ethereum. This, this number here is Bitcoin, so it's converting these two numbers together to show you, uh, you know, the difference between the two. So, yeah, check out this website, figure out what's more profitable to mine. I'm gonna stick to Ethereum for now. I wanna try to get as much as possible, and then, uh, maybe after a month, go in and see which coin is good. I kind of want to try to get as much coin from different types of cryptos and hold them and then eventually, I don't know, maybe they'll skyrocket and then, you know, I'll be a millionaire one day. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how this goes. So anyway, uh, Antminer S9 is still going strong, pulling air from outside and it's uh, pretty quiet and it's pretty funny because it's cold as hell in here. So. I actually positioned this to point into our room to warm it up and we have a lot of work to clean up so just don't worry about that. We're trying to move everything so that, you know, this thing, this thing just took up so much space, wasn't expecting that so we're going to try to rearrange this whole room to make it work but yeah, this is still blowing out some half warm air, half cool air, and this is quiet. Realized that there was some air leakage, so I covered that up, and also on this side, and this is pulling the air from outdoors. So, everything's A-OK -okay so far. Actually, let me give you a quick Bitcoin update on how much I've earned, so let me just do the calculation real quick. 
Okay, so far I've earned that much, 0.0115 and 100 and calculate that to about $167. And that's mining for five whole days, all the way through, five whole days and probably one hour of downtime, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, that's all I really wanna talk about. And like I was showing you earlier, I was gonna use these risers, but if I end up getting a third card, then I will have to use this, but I'll need to figure out uh, how to build some sort of rig or something. So it, it most likely won't be in the computer, it'll be outside of the computer in some sort of like, uh, some sort of box system or something where, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but you get the idea. There's tons of like videos on the internet. Uh, people are talking about like building rigs and all that. So. I'm still starting out. I don't know everything there is to know about it, but I'm still doing research. But anyway, yeah, that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found something helpful in this, but uh, yeah, I'll check you out in my next video. Bye.